In this video, we're going to make ChatGPT using Python and the API from OpenAI. Let's get it. The very first thing we need is somewhere to edit our code. I use Google Colab for my Python code, but any IDE would work. The first thing you want to do in your program is install the OpenAI library using pip. In Google Colab, you can just do this by typing exclamation point pip, install OpenAI, just like this. If you're using an IDE like VS Code or something similar, you can just type pip install OpenAI into the terminal command line in your IDE of choice. Make sure the command is then run to install OpenAI. After you've installed OpenAI using the pip command, you want to make a new code block. And then right here, all we want to do is import the OpenAI library by just writing import OpenAI like this. This will be the object you interact with to generate your chat GPT responses. Next, you're going to want to grab your API key. To do this, you need an account with OpenAI. Once you've made an account, go to platform.openai.com, click on your profile in the top right, and then click on this view API keys button. Once you're on this page, use this button here to create a new secret key. Once you've created it, it'll tell you what it is. So go ahead and just copy that and then click done. Now, once we have that key, we can go back into our code here. And now let's reference the OpenAI object that we imported. Let's just say openai.api underscore key equals, and then fill in the key that you just got and make sure it is wrapped in quotations so that it interprets it as a string. This sets the system so that it knows which account is accessing the chat GPT model. The next thing I want to do is just make a messages list. I'm just going to say messages equals and make an empty list for now that will store all of our past messages and our conversation. Part of the beauty of ChatGPT is being able to reference old messages. So we need to store all these messages in a list, which we are just calling messages. Next, because we want ChatGPT to run continuously instead of just answer one question, we're going to make a while loop. And for right now, we're just going to say while true, go ahead and add a colon, press enter. We want to grab input from the user. So we'll say user inputs equals inputs, and then we'll just type user colon like this. Then we need to store this in our messages list. We can't just add the message itself though, because ChatGPT is a particular way of storing messages that we need to meet. Each message should be an object with a role key and a content key. The role key specifies who the message is from, while the content key specifies the actual message itself. The role can either be user, assistant, or system, but we only want to worry about user and assistant for now. User means the message came from a user. Assistant means the message came from ChatGPT. To meet this requirement, all we have to do down here is type messages.append, and inside of here, we're going to append an object. We're going to say role as a key, and then the corresponding value is going to be user. And then for our next key, we'll say contents, and the corresponding value is going to be the message we just generated, which is user input. We've essentially now taken the user input message and stored it within ChatGPT. The next step is for ChatGPT to generate a response to our message. To do that, we need to call the openai.chatcompletion.create method again from the ChatGPT API. To do that, let's go down here. Let's make a new variable. Let's call it completion. And then we're going to set it equal to that method I just mentioned. So we'll say openai.chatcompletion.create. And then inside this create here, we need to pass in two arguments. The first argument should be the model of ChatGPT that we're using. And the second argument should be the message. So for that first argument, we should say, model is equal to should say gpt 3.5 turbo and then for the messages all i want to do is pass in the messages list and now to show you what this completion object looks like i'm actually going to go in here i'm going to just type print completion like this i want to go ahead and run it and then it'll ask me for a prompt i will say something like hey what's up i'll press enter and you'll see now it should generate a response for our stuff, though, we don't particularly care about the entire object. We just want the message response that ChatGPT is going to generate. If you look closely, you can see that the actual message here is right in this content field right here. So now the question becomes, how do we actually access this content and this message here? Well, we have this entire completion object that we just printed out. Within that completion object, we have this list here just called choices. Within the choices list, the first element of it is this object here. And then within the object, we have another object called message. And then within that message object, we have the content field. So it's kind of a lot to unpack, but basically we just have the completion object and then the choices and then message and then content in that order. So we can access it by doing just that. So let's go ahead and cancel this real quick. Let's make a new thing here. I'm going to make a new variable called response to generate actual response or set it equal to what we were just looking at. So we have the completion object and they want to access the first element of this choices uh, array here. So we'll say dot choices that we want to do the first element. And then inside of that, we want to get this message object. So we'll do dot message. And then inside of that, we want to get this content because that's the actual response that we want. So we'll do dot content just like this. 
And then ideally we want to take this response and then print it out to the user. So to do that, I'm just going to write a statement here. Let's say print. And then we'll just do, let's do something like, let's say slash in slash in chat GPT. I'll do slash in slash in again. Let's say plus response plus I'll do two more slash in. This slash in is just a special new line character. And I'm just using that to make extra spaces to make the output look a little bit cleaner. The very last thing we want to do is take this response and then add that to our messages list so we can reference it in the future. So to do that, we'll do something similar to what we did right up here. So what I'll do is I'll take this line, I'm going to copy it, and I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to paste it right here. I mentioned earlier that assistant is the role that ChatGPT messages should fall under. So instead of having the role as user here, let's just make this say assistant instead. And then for our content, all we want to do is just put in the response that we just generated. So let's go ahead and put in response just like this. Now we're all done. So let's test it. I'm going to go ahead and run this here. It'll ask for a prompt. I'm just going to say, let's say, give me five tips for optimizing my health. And then it might take a few seconds. Okay. And as you can see, it just spit out five things. It says like maintain a balanced diet, regular exercise, prioritize sleep, etc. Let's ask another question. I will say, who is the current president of the US? Press enter. And it'll spit out that Joe Biden is the current president. I can say, how old is he? Like this. And it'll say he is currently 78 years old. And then to test the archiving functionality, let me just ask, let's say, which of the five health tips is the most important? To basically test and see if it can take this and use what it's previously responded to, and then it can identify which one is the most optimal. So it says, well, all of them are important. It says the balanced diet is the most important out of the five. And as you can see, that was number one on the list here. So clearly it can recognize that we had old conversations with the user. And with that, you now have a working chat GPT implementation in Python. I hope this video was helpful. And as promised, I'll drop the OpenAI chat GPT API link in the description. Take care, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.